little sugar bookers and good freaking morning. I am not used to doing videos this dang early, so please just bear with me. I might be a little crazy, kooky, fumbling over my words, overly exhausted. I honestly don't know which part of Jen you're gonna get, so just like I said, bear with me. Anyways, we are here today for an early sneak peek on the brand new stuff pack that is going to be released tomorrow called The Sims for Toddler Stuff. And yes, you guessed it, it's about toddlers. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I do need to go ahead and give out a quick little disclaimer. Yes, I did receive an early access code to be able to give you guys this preview, but as per usual, this does not alter, change, or manipulate my thoughts and opinions. They're all my own, and I'm basically telling you guys what I think and what I feel. I did actually see the live stream of this. I think it was a couple days ago, maybe possibly Friday. I honestly don't even know what day it is. You know, mommy life and all. So um, I do kind of have a good general idea of what to expect in this pack and I kind of already have a few of opinions formed. I just think it's going to be really fun to get my hands on it and actually play around um, with it myself. So we're going to read this little description together as we always do. So there's three main components um, that are included in this stuff pack. All right. So first and foremost, jump into fun. Toddlers can burn energy while having fun on the collection of playground objects. Tiny Sims can hop onto the ball pit um, with a buddy scoot down the slide or scamper through colorful tunnels host play dates build the perfect play space in the local park or backyard then invite the neighbors over for a play date um toddlers can make friends and let loose while parents can uh facilitate the fun i don't know tell stories and grill up the kids favorite foods dress in adorable apparel um express your toddlers personalities with new boy and girl fashions and hairstyles oh my gosh you guys i am so excited for the freaking hairstyles I cannot wait um, choose from a variety of tops bottoms and shoes that showcase their unique style uh, dress in whimsical outfits from butterfly winged tees to animal hoodies and even rainbow moccasins I cannot wait this I, I, and I hate to say this word but, but, but the cast the cast sounds absolutely freaking lit so let's go ahead and uh, let's go check it out because I am so super duper impatient, I absolutely cannot wait until the next part of City Living to see what these items look like on Clementine Foreman. So we are going to use the Foreman family for this video. Do not get your hopes up. Mr. Easton is not here to stay, unfortunately. He is just here for demonstration purposes only. Um, so we're going to do the honors and start off with Clem. We are going to check out the brand new hairs. There's this one here, which is kind of like a shorter bob sort of hairstyle uh, I really love the bows like there is so many like hair accessories throughout these four hairstyles and I think they're really freaking cute and also the length is also really realistic I never really thought about it until you guys had mentioned um the fact that I always put kind of relatively longer hairs on my toddlers and typically a two-year-old wouldn't have hair down to her butt crack just saying so um this is what a few of the swatches look like and here is the back one more time um this one's actually really cute at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it I, I definitely um feel like I like it a little more in you know other swatches than others like this hair one this color um, combination's pretty nice, but this one's probably my favorite, just the brown with the pink little bows. Um, but this also reminds me of like handlebars for some reason, like a little bicycle. I don't know, I'm weird. But anyways, it could be the fact that I'm tired or just <laughs> I'm strange. Um, so there's that one. And then here is this little number that I definitely think Clem could pull off. As you all know, she has pretty, um, you know, textured hair. And uh, I feel like maybe the fourth hairstyle would be more fitting for her. But I do think occasionally um, she could probably rock this one. And I super Duper, duper 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 adore these little these little clips here let me just show you um, a few of the other swatches that come alongside in this pack do 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 you know just the basic ones and this one's actually really freaking cute her hair is like bright orange <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a little tangerine. Okay, uh, here's this last one, and this is definitely one y'all know that I'm so excited about. I don't know how many comments I have gotten in just, you know, the last few days of people saying, this is definitely Clem's hair. This was made for her. It super freaking was. Um, as you all know, I did a CC shopping, and um, I downloaded one hair in particular that really looked almost dead on to this, um, and there was a couple things that weren't perfect about it, but 
honestly, I'm really appreciative for the CC creators and for EA for actually making something like this. I definitely feel like this was a much needed piece in game. And this is exactly what she would look like in this hair. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited? Because <laughs> No, I sure am. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that honored because it's been a long time coming. And we are gonna go to the full body outfits. So we have a bunch. Like I was kind of taken back by the different um, different varieties and options and all that kind of fun stuff. Like they went, they went hard in the paints when it came to cast. Um, so here's this little dress. It has like a little um, shawl kind of cardigan thing over it uh, it's a little flashy too and there's just a bunch of different prints I even feel like there was like an animal or something right here um, there's actually a little a little fox on this which I don't know about you guys but was this some sort of like fruition to pets I don't know super exciting uh, so this one here is like a little a little romper I think a little summer dress I love this uh, super beautiful and the, the complexity of these pieces they they totally put in the extra effort and you can tell um, that they really they went far with this Okay, this one also is a very simplistic dress, but has a lot of different recolors, kind of pastel -y, very summery, even maybe spring. Um, super fun for little play dates in the park and stuff. And here's another, which kind of almost looks like a um, duplicate of this one. Uh, the only difference that I'm noticing is maybe just the top and kind of where the bows are placed, but it's very similar. It's another romper. Um, the color palette on this is a little more baby pinky and like pastel -y and just light and fun and airy. Um, I also love the fact that they added in a couple of the rose swatches. I'm a huge fan of like roses. I love roses so much. Um, so there's that. And then we have this little, gosh, what is this called? It's like a, you know when people call like jumpers, jumpers, you know? I always think of this being a jumper, but I guess a sweatshirt is a jumper in some parts of the world. It's really interesting, like the different, you know, lingo and, wh and what it means in different parts of the world. But um, for me, this kind of reminds me of a jumper and I love the little, the little strawberry. Like seriously, stop. <laughs> Stop. It's just, stop it, Ron. It's, it's too cute. Um, this one is also another little romper. Um, has like a halter, a halter kind of top feel to it. Really cute. Love the buttons. Simple, but also has a lot of a lot of personality too. Um, this dress I think is probably one of my favorites. Just the buttons are so big. Um, I love the polka dots and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm making her dizzy by like <laughs> spinning her around town. Also, I mean, come on, cupcake sprinkles, cupcake sprinkles. If you know anything about June, you know what? She loves the damn cupcakes. So you know that uh, that Clem is going to have to rock that at least once. And I'm so excited that this came out before she ages because I mean, I would have really been sad if she would have missed out on this. Um, this one here is probably one of the most, I don't know, iconic <laughs> outfits in the pack um, with the void critters and just the different kind of the combinations and just how almost 90s this feels to me actually. Um, especially this uh, I really like that a lot um, so here's another pair of overalls very simple maybe helping mom and pop out in the garden or something like that um, this one here kind of reminds me of something like on an Easter day like I feel like we need seasons for that I know someone's like we're getting pets and you're complaining about I'm not complaining I'm just saying when we do get seasons I'm just I'm gonna throw this out there I would love to have like the Easter Bunny come through <laughs> <laughs> horrible family photos anyone come on like our sims need to experience those terrors too so um that's a pretty good look at all the the full body outfits for the girls now we also have tops i mean can we spend hours in cast probably could um but here are a few different variations of this top here and here is the little um, a bumblebee outfit. Now this is definitely another iconic one. Look how flashy these wings are. Uh, you don't get a ton of different recolors, but this is so you know imaginatory to me. Like this is this is not something um, obviously serious, but I would totally let my kid go out in public like looking like a bumblebee. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. Uh, here's just a very basic tank that comes in a bunch of recolors to kind of play it up a little bit. I think I even saw some sprinkles. Yes, super cool. Um, and a little birdie. Here is the fox hoodie. I think this is a fox hoodie. Might be a fox hoodie. I just heard something snap, y'all. 
scaring the hell out of me over here. Anyway, <laughs> that's a little fox hoodie. Um, and then there is an owl. Uh, a What is this? This kind of looks like it's a hamster, possibly a cat. I've heard all different like theories on that. This is definitely a bear um, and a wolf. I really like those. Again, are we channeling pets? Kind of feels like it. Um, okay, so cape. Love this. Super baby. Super baby squad. <laughs> It's so freaking cute. Oh my god. Now if I didn't have baby fever, or if I didn't have a baby, I would totally get baby fever from this. Alright, so here is the polo, which I think is really cute. Um, has some cars. That's pretty much what that looks like. Very simple piece, but absolutely adorable, none the least. So, bottoms. Okay, we've got a little skirt. Um, I want to get her into something that kind of shows off the bottom outfit just a little bit easier. I don't really think I have anything. Um, so there we go. She's going to be topless for a second. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't get flagged. I mean, really, let's let's not be sensitive, YouTube. Uh, here are some bloomers. Super cute with the little buttons. I, I feel really bad having her have no shirt on, so we're just going to have to deal with it. But anyway, um, some bloomers. All different kind of colors. No prints that I'm seeing. And then here's a little skirt that's kind of more, um, you know, straight. Not not a lot of frills, but it's still really cute. And then a pair of pantalones um, that come in a bunch of def a different blah, 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 a bunch of different um, color swatches here. I really like those a lot. Those are so cute. Look at the back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love them, I love them, I love them. Okay, shoes, got a few. We got some bumblebee uh, sandals, we've got some rainbow, oh these are moccasins, I think is what they call them, I'm not sure, but here are some rainbow shoes. Um, and then some ladybugs, we have, oh my gosh, uh, some purple with some stars, I love those. And even some sprinkle ones, yes, definitely. Uh, we've got some claw, claw? Moccasin slippers. I don't know with little furry feet. <gasps> Stop it. I swear like ch like children's clothes is just oh my god They're too much. They're the most perfect little things in the entire world like if I was a kid I would I would I would never be at I would always be in Target I swear or somewhere with clothes like I just I love kids clothes like what is this? Um, anyway, I'm really excited. Can you tell all right here are the moccasins I think and I believe there are some rainbow ones. Yep. There they are. All right, cool So that's pretty much it for the girls cast a whole freaking ten minutes. Oh my gosh um, I really wanted you guys to get a good peek and then the boys pretty much have the exact same things um, throughout I think they share everything pretty much except for these pants. I feel like these pants are a um, You know, they're 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 proprietary to toddlers so or to boy toddlers So you're not gonna get these in the girls. I don't believe you might be able to I honestly don't know don't hold me to that um, maybe if you you know checked off the the masculine um, Filter you'd be able to get them. See that's easy. Yeah, pretty much. There you go Bada bing, bada boom, that's it. <laughs> and I don't think there's any, um, you know, exclusive shoes or anything. I think they pretty much share the exact same shoes. So I almost forgot, as I always do, of course, styled looks. All right, so here they are. We have proper for play, um, and it looks like that. So if you're really lazy like me, this is a quick and easy way to get your toddlers dressed in a GIF, um, and a bunch of different swatches that kind of showcase the different, you know, options that you have available. Here is, what is this, a fri fripper, fripperly frock? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she looks like little Jack the Beanstalk. I love her. She looks like she's straight out of one of those like child books. I love it. Um, we have Rufflepuff. So cute. Stop. Oh my gosh. How many times has Jen said stop? I'm like dying of cuteness over here. Rufflepuff. Um, and then a Prince Perfect, which is super freaking cute. Love the citrus and the little hungry, hungry calipiter. Um, and then we have a Pixie Princess. Oh my goodness with the little bumblebee outfit in its entirety so perfect. I love that um, Overall fun Very cute too. I wasn't expecting this one. Could you tell I kind of got quiet. I was like where, where did you come from? Um, really? Oh my God. I'm not gonna say it again, but you know, I'm thinking stop it Ron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I need the Jersey Shore to make a comeback like today. I think they're having a reunion I'm not 100% sure but super cute. Oh my goodness I almost forgot something too the the hairs of the boys. I would have died. Okay. Thank you for reminding myself Jed I know someone's be like you forgot the boy hairs. I did not um, mix and match chic 
super cute. Effortless in the sun. And then I think we have superhero in training. Oh my goodness. Uh, Any more? Up overall fun. And I think that's about it. So we are going to head over to the hairs. And there are two hairstyles for the boys. We have this like super duper cute little hipster number. And then this one that kind of reminds me of, I don't know what character it is, but there is a character, Chucky. There we go from the Rugrats. I knew it was someone, but doesn't, doesn't not does it not i am sorry but if june and pace ever have boys i am putting this hair on them and nobody nobody <laughs> nobody can stop me so at a glance here are all the objects that come in toddler stuff i want to actually take you into bill mode and show you all the swatches but for some strange reason my swatches aren't working right now so what i'm going to do is show you guys the items individually and then take you into bill mode and kind of thumb through those swatches so first up we have the jungle gym that can actually be purchased into smaller parts in the catalog so if you don't have all of this space for both the ball pit um, or the, uh, the tubes, you can get these individually. Um, and of course that just makes it, you know, financially a little more achievable because this big thing is 4,000 simoleons and here it is broken up. Um, there is actually three swatches on these guys in case you guys were curious. So over here we have this little guy that is basically a dollhouse and it is fully functional. So your Sims will play with them. And I think they're like little chipmunks or something like that. They're super freaking adorable. Um, over here we have like this awning sort of tent kind of idea and it basically protects your um, your sims from the sun which maybe just maybe might be an indication of what's to come in the future I don't know I'm not a psychic or anything and then underneath we have a brand new picnic bench that I super 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 enjoy um, I don't know I just really like the way that it looks and here is some clutter items which consist of some red solo cups some plates some napkins and utensils how amazing I've never been so excited for utensils in my life <laughs> Okay, balloons, we all know that the game lacked balloons, so I'm really excited to see those. Uh, we have this little wagon thing um, that actually doubles as a cooler, and I do think you can put this in your inventory. It's completely portable. Um, so all that you need to do is grab a quick meal. Um, you can grab some cereal, granola, yogurts, uh, and then you can grab a drink, which is also really fun. And then you can even you can even sit on it if you wanted to. Um, over here is the brand new grill that I'm actually pretty pumped about because I think for the first time ever this grill is portable. So this is great for storytelling. Maybe you have a few homeless Sims. That's totally cool. Or you want to take your own grill to camping. Totally up to you. Whatever the situation is, you can do that now. And it has like this really cool little retro feel. There's a lot of detail. Hello there, balloons. <laughs> There's a lot of detail that went into this. So um, I'm really liking that. Uh, let me see what else do I have to show you. These rugs, um, they don't actually come individually, which kind of sort of sucks. I wish that they did. Um, they're basically one big piece that covers a really large area. Uh, and then we have the brand new slide that seriously reminds me so much of the CC that the uh, um, content creators came up with a while back for toddler slides. Um, just gives me that vibe. I don't know. And then we have some fences, which I think are really cool. They come in a bunch of different swatches and they just remind me of like little, little popsicle sticks. And then this is the gate that comes with that. Uh, we have another rug, then these beautiful lights that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love lights like these um, because you can use them in, in all different types of builds. You don't need to use them particularly with toddlers, obviously. Uh, so these are really a cool new little added feature and they come like in pieces. So you're going to get this big old pole here and then you're going to get this lonely twig and you can basically connect them for days if you wanted to. All right. So we have these little decorational items that come in pieces as well. Now, I don't know what you would do with these, but I guess the sky's the limit. You could definitely use your creativity and just kind of go with it. Um, they're really cute. They're like little, little colorful stumps, tree trunks that have been painted. I don't know. 
Uh, these are actually functioning cushions, so your Sims can sit on here, uh, and you can even like have the the toddlers come sit on those as well. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Like, I don't know what this is for, but it is really cute. It's like a little director's chair. I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was behind it. Maybe I'm totally missing it. <laughs> I'm very tired after all, but I like it. I think it's cute. And this guy is a little toy chest, and you have to see the swatches on this. They are so damn adorable. Like, there's, I think, I want to say maybe like a hot dog. I don't really know. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. But there, there's some cute little swatches in there. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys. So those are all of the items that come in a stuff pack or this stuff pack in particular. There's no new wallpapers or floors that I'm aware of. Um, but that's just basically all that you get. So what I want to do really 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 quick it's just temporarily here I'm gonna bulldoze this lot and we are gonna pop in to the object so I can show you all the swatches because these swatches normally I really wouldn't get that hung up on showing you all the swatches but they are so freaking cute they are so cute I don't know if I can I don't know how to thumb through the swatches which kind of sucks right now but um, at least I can like kind of take them take you through them and you can uh, basically see what they look like so here is some on the chair and if you guys know the cheat to like go through the swatches let me know because I don't know why I don't know but I just don't <laughs> I just, I don't have an idea. Um, so these are all basically standard, um, but I really want to show you guys the more like interesting swatches when it comes to these sort of things. So like these guys, um, what are they called? They're, they're my stumps, my stumps, my lovely lady humps. Okay, so bunch of fun little like characters on these. There's a lion, um, here's a little rainbow one. Uh, another one that's kind of like a melted ice cream cone, maybe possibly cupcake, not really sure. And then more stumps, so it's like part one, part two, part three. So there's four different parts. Then we have the high wire light rope that I showed you guys. Um, and again, this is what it looks like without it being connected to this little guy right here, the pole. Okay, so this is the brat mat, and the brat mat basically has about seven different swatches, and they are so freaking cute like honestly you guys these are absolutely adorable like little rainbow butterflies i'm loving all of the use of rainbow i love rainbow so this is like totally ah oh, this is satisfying me right now you have no idea here's this really cute little um swatch and then i want to see if there's anything like really unique really interesting um i don't know if you would use these for you know different types of builds or whatever but i think you probably could if you wanted to, you could get creative. So anyway, there's those. And then um, this is actually the last real swatch that I honestly care to show you. Uh, I do believe this is indeed a hamburger. So we have a hamburger. We've got more like cupcakes. Um, we have this little ladybug, which is super freaking cute. And then some Crayola crayons or just crayons in general. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys one more. This one is so freaking cute too. I think this is a cop car. Uh, really, really adorable. I love how they incorporated characters and little animals and all that kind of fun stuff into the shape of the items. I thought that was really unique and different. And I really like the effort that they put into the objects themselves. It really fits the essence of this pack. So I think that's all that I need to show show you when it comes to the items. I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. The last thing that we need to do is actually throw a play date and see how the toddlers interact with each other and these objects. All right, so I went ahead and kind of set up our little play date area. Now all that there's left to do is hop on the phone and actually schedule one of these bad boys. So what we're gonna do is go and plan a social event. We're gonna have Pace go and do the honors. Costs a hundred simoleons to host a play date, you guys, and you must actually know the toddlers. Um, I don't know if you knew the parents, if that would kind of help, but all that I do know 100% for sure is that you need to know some toddlers to be able to do this. So we're gonna go and click toddler play date, prestige event, click next. All right, so we need to host caregiver. Um, I'll do June. And then we need to have one host that's a toddler. I'm gonna do Clem. And then the guests are going to be Landon, Bradley, and Jacqueline. These are just some random toddlers that I threw into my game 
as Sim Guru Graham said, I sprinkled them in. So we're gonna move on to the actual party itself. We're gonna have it our, at our residence. Now, if you wanted to, you can even um, have the party at a park. So you have a couple options there. You can have it at your place or a park. That's about it. All right, so I think now we are pretty much ready for the event and our guests should start arriving. All right, so our main goal is to socialize with the guests, eat food, have Sims listen to stereo at the same time and talk to a toddler. Now, from my understanding, the only real new interaction is playing on the playscape. That's what I heard personally. Um, I'm not gonna really focus too much on like the goals. I mean, you kind of get it, but like I'm gonna try at least a little bit. So I'm gonna have Pace go over over to the grill and he is going to make some grilled fruit for everyone and June is going to have the you know duties of playing with the brandy toys so here she is with Clem and they're playing with the little the little chipmunk dolls as you guys can see how freaking cute are these stop staring and focus people <laughs> I really love her hair <gasps> They're so adorable. I really honestly wish, though, to be completely honest, uh, this dude would stop chewing my ears off so we could have a little bit of fun. All right, so I think Easton has spotted. Um, he has spotted the playscape, so he is going to go ahead and crawl through. Look how freaking cute. I don't know where he's going to come out at, um, so I'm just going to zoom out. Oh, there he is. Oh, he popped up at the top, and there he comes out of the bottom. Um, he's going to go babble to his friend, but I kind of want him to to also play in the slide. I actually did not realize that the slide is attached to. So when you purchase this big old piece for 4,000 simoleons, gosh, I can't even believe that's how much it is. Um, you can even get the slide uh, detached separately in the, the catalog as well if you wanted. So you can kind of pick and choose. Like, do you just want the, the slide and the, the tubes or... And do you want the ball fit in the tubes or the ball fit in the slide? Got a lot of options there, you know? All right, so he is having a blast playing on his little, his little, what is he going to do? He's going to go, oh, I, I take that back. Obviously, playing in a toilet is much more fun. I mean, I mean. It's up. All right, so help a toddler to climb. Okay, so maybe I actually did not hear that correctly. Um, it seems like we've got a brand new, I, I task I guess is what we can call it um so I'm gonna have peace or no I'm gonna do I'm gonna let June that's right he is on grill duty we're gonna have June go and help um Clementine on the slide I think this is right help toddler climb but why when I'm you know what I'm just gonna go to this other slide over here because this one this one's frustrating me a little bit I think it has to be here but I'm not sure all right so we're gonna have her go and help Clem um go on the slide here so she's picking her up She's gonna bring her over and she's gonna sit her down on the stairs. How cute. I love it. She's like, oh, she's giving her a little boost on the caboose and she's totally cheering her on right now. Oh my god. So she's taking a minute, waiting for mom to watch. And then she's gonna slide down. Oh, that is so cute. I love that so much. All right, so what else is there that we can do? Um, we can play in the ball pit. Let's have let's have Easton come over here. He's going to play in the ball pit. The ball pit. What was I about to call it? Oh, one would only know. Um, we are on bronze level though, so I didn't really notice this originally, but um, a lot of people have been complaining about the lack of dimension on the balls. I agree. I totally agree. And the reason why I agree is because, you know, I'm kind of used to these flat textures, to be completely honest. Like when it comes to things like maybe in jars or, you know, some decor items kind of have this, you know, flatness to them. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. This part, I guess, it is really important because, I mean, obviously, they can do it, right? There's some, there is some three-dimensional balls. Why couldn't they just put all the balls three-dimensional? Like, that's, that's, I, I didn't even realize. I was like, okay, flat texture, yeah, I get it. But then there's like, there is a few that are dimensional. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little confused. So in the comments down below, does this bother you or are you not even phased by it at all? Like, do you want three dimensional balls or are you cool with the flat texture? Like, let me know. Cause I'm curious. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. So here comes a little Eastman. Oh my God. I kind of like him. Can we keep him? Can we keep him? Oh, there he goes. All right. So he's playing in the balls and uh, I don't really know 
what else they do? They're kind of splashing around. I love that. Yeah, see, I get what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, totally. I really didn't catch that on the stream. Maybe Crixus was crying or something. I don't know. Um, because it kind of looks like a wave of paper. Does it? Yeah, it does not look. Yeah, I see what the issue is. Yeah, I do. Okay, I see it now. And if I didn't, I would say I didn't. But I really do. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Would you have preferred this to be a little three-dimensional since everything else kind of is? Or like I said, does it not bother you? Anyway, um, here we are. I think our grilled fruit is ready. Uh, we've actually, it was really easy to achieve a gold level on the toddler play date. I'm going to read this off to you, actually. It says, toddler play date, host a big party for tiny tots. Invite all the toddlers your little one knows for fun play and general merriment um, while tykes run and fro, <laughs> grill up some food, and exchange parenting tips with fellow caregivers. I love that. Um, let's see what else we can do. All right, so East, I love Easton. You know, I'm just going to totally eat him up right now. He can come over here and he can buy some toys. Or if he wanted to, he can play with some toys. And it looks like there's only a couple. And I don't know if they're random for, like, you know, each little play box you get. But um, he only has, like, a couple options there. Where is Clem? So she's over here babbling it up to pace. Uh, what else is there that we can do? I think... Um, I'm 100% sure we can come over here to the wheel maybe. Are we able to play with this? Climb, what's that? Crawl through. I wonder. Um, how do you channel their imagination? That's actually what I would like to know. So in order to get these little whimsical animations that only your toddlers can see while playing with their parents or caregiver, you need to have your toddler's imagination skill at level two bare minimum to be able to do the play space fort with or play pirates with. So we're going to have a pace play space sports with Clem because she's the one with the level two imagination skill. And I do believe by them playing and doing all these things, they will build that skill. Um, but I went ahead and cheated just so I can actually see this and show you guys um, during this little demonstration here. I will link the live stream, by the way, because I feel like um, the, the live stream, oh my God, uh, that Sim Guru Grant did, uh, Graham, I call him Grant, oh God, uh, Sim Guru Graham and Amanda did was really thorough. It was really enjoyable. And I think you guys are going to get a lot out of it. And you'll see how these little items and certain things kind of work. So as you guys can see, Clem can see all these amazing things happening. Puffs of smoke, twinkling stars. But when we click on Pace, all of those animations, they go away. Um, so it looks like we did receive an award. And it says, word of this legendary play date has started to spread. In fact, the fine folks in the marketing department and BAMCO, um, maker of the toddler toys has reached out with a spe special influencer opportunity. They've provided their all-inclusive jungle gym set completely free of charge. You'll find it that it's already been delivered uh, to your household inventory and all they ask is a small tiny little favor. Won't you please place it in your front yard and invite all of your neighborhood tots to come play with uh, and help spread the uh, help spread the good Bamco name. So basically, uh, you don't even really need to have all of these objects. Also, from what I've seen from the stream, to be able to even host one of these. So if you don't have this, you can totally earn it for completely nothing. I think that is amazing. And I think from what I've also learned on the stream, all the other levels um, have different rewards as well. So that one was the space board. And then I think there is one more. There is the pirates. So we'll go and have him um, play pirates with Clem as well. And then I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know if there's anything else to show. I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, if there is anything that I did indeed leave out, you guys will be able to discover that on your own here is the freaking pirate animation. I love this. Uh, there's a little treasure chest. We have some seaweed. This is really making me miss Island Paradise so freaking bad. You guys have no idea. Like this is such a tease. I love how the little the little um, playscape turns into this like underwater ship it's so adorable so anyway um i think that's all that there is to show and i hope you guys enjoyed this video my overall thoughts and opinions are to be honest with you guys i never think taller stuff or taller or stuff packs in general it's ever going to be enough 
You know what I mean? There's always going to be that one thing that you wanted or one thing you wish that they had put in. But honestly, I feel like for the price point of $9.99 and everything that we are getting, don't expect it to be like, you know, as satisfying as a game pack or an expansion pack. But this is something you kind of integrate with your game already. And you use these objects, you know, from day to day, from time to time to build relationships. June, a <laughs> crazy octopus. Um, and you'll, you'll get a lot of use out of that them I think in that way um, so don't think that you're just gonna like sit down and you're just gonna play toddler stuff and it's gonna be a completely different game to you it's not that's not how it's gonna work but for what it is as a stuff pack I feel like just even the clothing items alone literally blow my socks off um, especially for people who don't want to download CC this is going to be perfect for you if you don't want to spend $9.99 there are a ton of good um cc items out there like a slide uh there's even a toddler pool things like that you could totally you could skip it you could um and and download cc that way and just save the $9.99 but if you don't want to do that you don't want to download cc i do think this is a great option i definitely think you're gonna get your money's worth that is for darn sure so i i, I in my personal opinion i would recommend this one the only real downfall to me personally i feel is like everyone else said the bubble pit is kind of a little bit of a flop you know what I mean um which kind of sucks but at the end of the day I feel like as a set it kind of works you know but um it bothers me but I think I could get over it to be honest um I would have loved to seen as much effort going to this ball pit as they did everything else. But of course, um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys have to say. So leave your comments and thoughts and opinions down below where the sun doesn't shine. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. And um, I'll see y'all next time. I'm about to go get some sleep, y'all. <laughs> Bye, guys.